More reactions have poured in from Nigerians following the report of the bandits' attack on the Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna State. Many argued that if bandits can successfully carry out their operations in a place like the NDA with the tight security provided, then the security of ordinary citizens cannot be guaranteed. The further urged President Muhammad Buhari led government to label bandits as terrorists and tackle the manners of insecurity so the security situation in the country does not disintegrate into what is obtainable in Afghanistan today. Below are some comments. Okechuku Obasi commented and said, The unthinkable is unfolding before our eyes. The military does not know who to turn to. The citizens do not know who to run to. Things have fallen apart and the center cannot longer hold. Oluyemi Gideon said, Now, the band, you know, the battle is taken to the doorstep of the offenders. This is how Boko Haram started theirs too. Let's see if our gallant military officers will be offensive for the first time in tackling security threats. Another user, Ige Oyebade, blamed the federal government for its refusal to address the matter. He wrote, the government allowed this situation to continue unchecked because they believed that it will not affect their own family until the government sees them as terrorists instead of labeling them as bandits. The bandits are coming to the seat of power very soon. Jonathan Odemba said, The evil we condoned yesterday on the basis of tribal, ethnic, and religious sentiments has come to kill us today. Where are the praises singers? Where is the body language? Imagine terrorists attacking a military university. Melly Nero said, Life under Buhari's administration is like living in hell. Everything has become so expensive except the value we place on human lives. What a precedent. Anne Chaigolom also said, A real slap on the face of Nigerian military. Where is all their intelligence? Longa Ige also wrote, The nerve of these people how did they gain access to the barracks? The soldiers are sleeping during a war. This is very sad. Austin Wari Wai also reacted to this and said, The president can no longer speak in the language they understand. The remaining of, of the bandits are going to capture the Asorok Villa if it can happen in Afghanistan. It can also happen in a corrupt and compromised Nigeria. Austin Emmy stated and said, Till now, bandits are not declared by Buhari's APC government as terrorists. They are once a country indeed. There was once a country indeed, the same style as the Taliban. What a shame of a country. If NDE can be attacked by bandits, what else is left? Bandits had earlier attacked Akafa Barak of the Nigerian Defense Academy, NDA, Kaduna State, and shot dead at least two officers and went away with another personnel in an onslaught on the country's foremost military training institution. Sahara reporters had learned that the bandits invaded in large numbers and shot dead two officers identified as Lieutenant C.M. Okoronkwo. The bandit also adopted Major Daktong while to Lieutenant Ona sustained, you know, sustained gunshot injuries and in, is currently receiving treatment, according to Sarah Reporters. Sarah Reporters earlier reported that the bandit who attacked the barrack around 1 a.m. on Tuesday are still believed to be inside the academy. What is your thought about this? 
What is your own reaction to this present situation of things? As we can see, series of things are really happening presently in Nigeria. We just hope that in no time, all these things will become things of the past because if it continues like this, you to think it could lead to the disintegration of this country, according to what we've heard. More reactions have poured in from Nigerians following the report of the bandits attack on the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna State. And according to the, you know, according to the news, the further urged President Muhammadu Buhari-led government to label bandits as terrorists and tackle the menace of insecurity. As we can see, bandits finally gave military a slap. More reactions from Nigerians over the attack on the Defense Academy. More, def you know, more reactions have been pouring ever since this has happened. It is a big slap on the military that the bandits are just given to them. What is your thought about this? Do you think it's high time our government needs to wake up you know, from their slumber and do the needful about this present situation before it leads to what we don't even expect because if all these things continue, it could lead to the disintegration of this country. What is your thought about this? We'd like you to share your thoughts with us on this that has been said, but before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. They only flex their muscles on innocent and law-abiding civilians. What a shame. Fulani have turned Nigerian military into a boy scout. That was a reaction from DC Joseph. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to what Joseph have said? We have heard from Joseph saying that. Our Nigerian security operatives, our Nigerian military men, they only flex their muscles on innocent and law-abiding citizens. What a shame. The Fulani headsmen have turned our Nigerian military into Boy Scout. That is what Joseph has said. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this? The slap is not small. It is a century insult that will leave scars on the military for many years. Defense Academy that cannot defend her walls. That was a reaction from Griezmann. An MEG. What is your thought about this? We have had what an MEG have said concerning the French situation. That the slap of which has been given to the Nigerian military is small. It is a century insult that will leave scars on the military for many years. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this? As we can see, the bandit finally gave our military men a slap. And this has prompted more reactions from Nigerians over the attack on the Defense Academy, according to Sahara reporters. It is said by Nemi that Defense Academy that cannot defend her wars. Is it the Defense Academy that will start to defend, you know, defendless civilians what is your thought about this we would like you to share your thought with us on this planning development we would like you to share your own reaction via the conversation on this that has been said thank you guys for listening